Hello, Bill Buddies. Welcome back to my channel. This is Infobits 101, and today we're going to be setting up this type of guy, this device here, that we're going to be setting up an easy step for you to know how to use this. Hey guys, attention all gamers, there, streamers, or anything that you want to go on live. This device is very, very important and very, very useful for you guys. And it's also a budget-friendly device for you to use. So if you're a gamer, streamer, or a live uh, blogger, uh, this uh, HDMI video capture card with loop is for you. Because this is very, very handy, especially for your account that you're going to be using uh, live streaming and uh, game capturing for some videos on YouTube that you're going to be planning on uh, uh, doing a game channel so this is also very very handy so it cost about for 10 bucks just 10 bucks and then um, you can use this in all things if we're going to represent this as a a uh, replacement for the Elgato maybe maybe it depends upon you guys if you would really think this device is really really handy so before we start our setup for today we're going to be needing some of these things let's go okay guys here it is we are going to be needing these things for you to capture or live stream your games on any platforms that you're going to be using or whatsoever but for now, you're going to be needing these basic things in order for you to use this guy. The HDMI video capture with loop. You're going to be needing this because it needs to be set up in the proper way. So first of all, you'll be needing two things. Two HDMI cables for the input and also the output. So there, there are going to be two things. This will be connected to the Nintendo Switch and this will be going out, going directly to the screen or whatever that you're going to be using for the second monitor or ever. Then secondly, you're going to be using a, uh, this, a single cable for the HDMI. I mean, uh, the HDMI capture card with loop for the, yeah or the USB slot. So you're going to be using the USB to USB cable for connecting to the computer for it to capture the games or streaming your games or whatsoever. So with that said, everything's okay. So let's start setting it up. Guys, here we are. We're going to set up this video capture card with loop. So we're going to be using these guys here and for things to know and also remember the things that we are going to be needing is we're going to use a OBS studio. So as you can see in the laptop here, this is an OBS studio that is already on standby so that we're going to be putting it there uh, because the OBS studio is much more easier to use and very, very compatible with the HDMI video capture card with loop. So if you're going to be using live streaming, I would suggest using the OBS Studio for your uh, program for streaming and game capturing, okay? So, but I also, guys, okay, I also hooked up the HDMI, the other HDMI cable on the TV right there. So as you can see, it's connected here. That's the TV. And um, we're going to be using a certain device or console for our video, video capturing. Uh, this is the Nintendo Switch. So we can also use this on other gaming platforms like PS4 or Xbox. So it's the same method. It's the same process. So you don't have anything, any problem with that. So you're just going to have to know the step-by-step -step or hook up on the device. Okay? Okay guys, so it's time for us to set up this HDMI video capture card with loop. So let's start. First of all, we're going to be connecting the cable for the Nintendo Switch. So this will be connected here at the back. Make sure it's slapped in properly. Okay, so it's all set. So therefore, 
we're going to be doing next is the connection of the HDMI as you can see here this is it so let's continue with connecting this this will come here connected to the Nintendo switch it will go to the input mode as you can see the input here so slap it in there you go and also for the output mode this will be projected on the screen that you're going to be using it might be the tv or the screen of your computer so that will be going out on the output mode so okay so as you can see it's already set up there let's open up the computer so what else do we be uh, are we going to be needing the usb to usb port we're going to be connecting it here on this device and also put it in this slot that is on the HDMI cord. Where's that dang cord? Oh, here. Here you go. Sorry about that. So, okay. So that is what we're going to be using. That's the setup. So we're not going to be using it unless we're going to be using a console. So we don't have it yet. So we're going to be using the Nintendo Switch for it to operate. So here it is. Slap it in. So as you can see, the Nintendo Switch is already there, uh, activated, and we still don't get any uh, projection from the device itself. So let's go to the main monitor of the computer, shall we? Let's go. So, okay, guys, as you can see that there is still no projection, although we have already hooked up this uh, device here. Uh, so we have things that we have to do on the OBS studio for you to project your gaming or streaming. So first of all, here you have here the uh, plus, negative, and the cog, and up and down. So you just have to click the plus sign. Look for the video capture device. It says here video capture device yes you click ok and there you go you have here to, you can choose from yeah you use the USB video not the WGA UGC webcam you just you're gonna have to uh, click the USB video and then just press ok so it says here that there is like lines but you have to attach your Nintendo Switch and, and there you go so it's you can see here in the monitor of my laptop I'm using the Nintendo Switch as you can see let's go to the TV so there's the line going up 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 on the TV and there you go there you have it there you have it same as the computer you can use see so connected the device to both screens you can use it for streaming or uh, game capturing so there you go there you go so that's it guys so if you want to know if we're going to we can use it for gaming so let's do it so I have here these two controllers so let's do it so as you can see here and going up to the screen the same thing that is projected on the laptop and also on the TV are the same so as you can see we're going to be choosing some games here okay some games so let's choose uh, Mario Kart 8 so let's do it so you can see the upper part of the screen also has the Mario Kart 8 so there you have it guys a really really fantastic device if you're going to be using the HDMI loop for your streaming game capturing it is really really an awesome device really really cheap affordable uh, compared to the Elgato it's a little bit more expensive than we could ever imagine so so let's see let's see let's see my god my god
it really really is an awesome device so let's do this so let's do this on the monitor there so while waiting for it to load so let's play a little bit of the Mario Kart if you can see how good it is when we're going to use this so just single player Grand Prix okay so I'll just be using any type of character here see okie dokie okay so let's start okay so as you can see it doesn't have any lag it depends on the type of computer that you have I think it will just be adjusting to the settings of the uh, OBS studio to your computer so as you can see here and also there see 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 it's the same so as you can see it's really really an awesome device it doesn't have any lag guys really it doesn't really have any lags so as you can see I'm playing here on my laptop it's an ordinary laptop you can use it and there is no any other lags on the game so it depends upon what type of setting or setup you're going to be using I didn't do any setups or settings in this uh, OBS it's just a straight play so there you go guys I hope you enjoyed this video so there you go I'm playing there see on the screen and also on my laptop so I do hope you enjoyed the, this video so let's go back so okay guys that's for the um, tutorial on the step-by-step -step, uh, the things that you have to know on how to use the HDMI video capture card with loop so I do hope I, uh, this video helped you a lot and uh, if you're free please do subscribe to my channel and also please leave a like so that I really really appreciate it if you're going to give me an, a like on this uh, video thank you very much guys this is Infoblitz 101's make your own perspective and see you on the next video bye bye guys